Hello everybody, this is Josh Beiser from GameWisdom.com. Welcome to a play of Disney's Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. For those of you who haven't heard, the game is actually no longer being sold on digital stores as of this time. The Once upon a news... Time, oh, two sorry there. The story is that the license to sell a game from Mickey Mouse by Disney to Sega ran out and expired, and Sega decided not to renew it. This is very similar to, in some sense, when they removed songs from the Grand Theft Auto game because they did a patch to it. Licensing is sometimes a very tricky and annoying practice, as many people on YouTube can attest to with the issues of fair use. But I was one of the people who did pick this game up, so I wanted to show it off to you fine folks. Castle Illusion starring Mickey Mouse, this is a 3D remake of the classic Sega Genesis title. The game follows the same story, but features essentially reimagined levels and design. Ominous and terrifying, the castle stood out against the skyline like a shadow from a horrible nightmare. Lost and alone, what was Mickey to do? <laughs> Luckily, fate intervened in the guise of a mysterious old mouse. Caution, lad, for Miserable's plans are truly wicked. Using a magic spell, she intends to steal Minnie's youth and beauty. You Your say Minnie. heart will be left as hideous as the witch is now. And her heart will contain only hatred and anger. Oh no! Uh, how can I save her? What do I do? <laughs> you must find the seven rainbow gems Toy that seven. will create the fabled rainbow bridge. <laughs> it will take you to where Minnie is being held. But beware the gem keepers. They are Miserable's prime ministers of misery and won't give up their treasures easily. Gems? Gem keepers? Got it! Wait, where do I find them? Within Miserable's Castle of Illusion. But beware, young mouse. And then we have to roll the quests there. Has created strange worlds and bizarre creatures to prevent you from reaching her. Each gem is guarded by one of Miserable's Masters of Illusion. Defeat them to claim your prize. And remember, use great caution. Mickey did not take the old mouse's words lightly. <laughs> he thanked him and rushed to the castle gates. Yeah, so it may not be the most imaginative story, but again, this game was released in the early 90s. The Castle of Illusion was Miserable's twisted playground of trickery and peril. Nothing there was as it seemed. Alright, so the first thing you notice is this is a 2D platformer. And it looks really good. Mickey Mouse has a decent animation to him. Everything has that crisp look to it. Our main way of attacking is bouncing on enemies' heads. Oh, there we go. And we need to collect gems for our score as well as to unlock new things. Now this is entirely new, this kind of 3D section, or 2.5D. Into the castle entryway strode the mouse with the heart of a great lion, though his knees felt more like those of a frightened kitten. And obviously, the narrator and these kinds of three effects, this is all brand new stuff for uh, Castle Illusion, this version. So the gems on a basic level are going to be used for progression. Oh, there we go. One thing that I like is these little pedestals here are for completing bonus challenges, and they'll fill up with rewards as you find them. It's a good example of a trophy room-like design. So each world is made up of three levels. Hmm, I wonder what's behind this door. And one thing that they did do to spruce things up, besides just in being inspired by the classic the games, oh, let me finish in. Once again into the forest, but it was changed somehow. This wasn't the pastoral wood he remembered. 
Okay, so as I was saying, one thing that they did to spruce things up from the original is that there are a lot more hidden challenges and secrets compared to the first one. One second, I just want to make it a tiny bit lower if I can. Yep, I guess not. Alright, we're just gonna have to... Wait, actually, one second. I may have the sound a little bit too loud for me. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's much better. I mean, that's all completely original. Now, I did play the, the Sega Genesis game a long time ago. So a lot of the level design is similar, but there are much more air, many more areas, and much more variety in terms of them. So here we have a treasure chest. I don't think we can get from here. Probably need to come back around. And there are a set number of diamonds in each level. And if you want to get the best ending, or unlock 100%, you do need to get them all. So this time, oh! There we go. Now it may not look like it because this is Disney and Mickey Mouse, but it does get a little bit more challenging in terms of platforming as we get further in. Some of the new areas that the developers added are a bit fiendish. It's not going to be like Super Meat Boy levels of craziness, but it will be a good moderate to advanced challenge, I think. Again, it's hard to tell since I've been playing platformers for so long. Alright, oh, now that's just a confusing sign there. Now let me see... And this is another new original section to the game. So watch. The signpost was created by Miserable, so of course it had a mischievous streak. Alright, sign. Hmm. Sure wish that signpost would make up its mind. <laughs> there we go. Suddenly, Mickey was in another part of the wood. Were these gigantic trees, or had Mickey been shrunk? <laughs> and you pretty much want to always keep the apples on you whenever possible, because they're going to be your only direct means of attacking unless you will bounce on their heads. Tell you. Again, don't forget to pick up your diamonds. But again, the little design is pretty good, especially again being a remake of a game from the early 90s. And if I can show it, I do want to show off at least a few of the bonus sections. Huh. Why am I not picking that up? There we go. Always get tempted by diamonds and such, right? Yeah. Hmm. Extra life is good, but hopefully we won't need it for the spotlight. And if we do, then I may be in trouble there. Come on. Tell you. Get up there. I think your score is used both for a leaderboard and maybe for unlocking some stuff, although I, that may not be true. <laughs> it's been a while since I played this game last. Oh no! 
Mickey found himself back in the clearing and back to his original size. Ah, uh, yeah, so that was the bonus section there. So because I didn't die in the main part, we didn't lose a life, technically. Oh. The controls are very fine in this game. Just tapping, you're going to be making a lot of micro adjustments for Mickey as you're moving around. Alright. Let's not uh, screw this up again. If there's interest in doing a let's break of the game, uh, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, we're just going to keep it to this one video spotlight. Okay. Can we get that extra life? Eh, nah, let's not chance it, right? Don't want to be too greedy. Cool. All right. With a whirl and a flash, Mickey reappeared in the clearing with the playing card. And much to his relief, he was back to his own size, too. All right. The playing cards, I believe, are used for bonuses. But we'll see once we get out of here. Now, as a nice touch, enemies will respawn. Which is very important in order to have a chance at getting some of these hidden items. Otherwise, you really only have one shot per level. Look at them all happy there. I need to move off screen. There we go. And I know it seems crazy to get all these apples now, but again, because it is a limited supply, you just always want to grab them whenever possible. Up oh, and here is this is another entirely original section. And for fans of Crash Bandicoot, you probably recognize this kind of level design here. But again, the game keeps looking very good. Mickey's animation is great. I know it's easy to look down on licensed games a lot. Well, no. Yeah, I'm gonna take the kill. Or I'm actually just gonna take the hit. Because again, we want 100%. So I was saying, it's very easy to look down on like the Disney licensed games, but this is a pretty good platformer. If you're expecting, again, like Mario Galaxy levels of quality here, it's pr that's probably reaching. But as a remake of a 2D platformer, it is pretty good. I think the developers did a good job of putting their own spin on things. Now, I didn't just say that because we are uh, being chased by a giant apple. Oh, and thankfully, your diamonds remain preserved, as even if you do take a hit, so I don't have to collect them again. Again, it's very hard to talk and play, especially if something like this. But again, the developers could have just released the exact same game as Genesis version. So I think it is good on them that everything does look different here. There we go, got it. Alright, so we return to the castle. We should have some updates. Yeah, so we unlock new concept art. Let's see, where is it? Okay, so I actually miss three diamonds. Interesting. Hmm. I'm also not sure what that zero one thing. That may be another hidden thing there. 
Got the playing card. Alright, but let's get going. I'm also going to do a time check. So each world is made up of three acts, and the boss will be at the end of the third one. To Miserable now, the very air around him tingled with mischief and danger. And if you saw, there was a time trial option as well. The backgrounds are just really great, in my opinion. A lot of detail in them. Get out of there. And you can see your apples are not preserved. Oh, there it is. So there is a hidden Mickey Mouse trophy around. We will certainly grab that and see what we get. Alright, the question though is how? First, let's see, did I get everything up here? Oh yeah, the developers really love hiding stuff all around in this game. Oh, poor ghost. Alright, is this gonna be dead? Alright, so there's gotta be another way to get there. But I do like how the developers, that's a very small piece of design. When you miss a jump, you don't lose a life, you lose health. And then if you run out of health, then you lose your life. It's a great way of preserving... Oh, oh, thank you, Bat. As I was saying, it's a great way of preserving your lives while still having the weight and the challenge of making these platforming. As you can see, there certainly are a lot of... Oh, damn you, ghosts. That's not nice. with an apple. Let's see if we can actually do this. Not bad. And it's a really good example of having different layers of challenges in the same level. So again, for like a younger audience, they're not going to spend the extra time, most likely, doing those extra challenges. But for us experts and completists, we'll probably be the ones crazy enough to do that. Anything up here? Oh, and apparently there's a diamond hidden right there. So again, we'll keep this video to just the first act. I think that'll be more than enough. I do want to at least show off the boss fight. So as we know, the guys in red can't be trusted. You can sort of see in the background there a hint of what's to come. Here. And again, there's always going to be a playing card bonus section in each level. There we go. Mickey found himself catapulted into the clouds. Don't forget those diamonds. Something tells me I missed a chess in the previous level. Again, you need to use the diamonds for opening up new levels, but if you do a good enough job, you'll most likely get them all without, or get enough without really needing to focus on them. But if you want, like, to find everything, you do need 100%. Again, the backgrounds are just very good, and remember, this was based on a game from 1992, so they didn't have anything, or 1991, they didn't have anything of this caliber back then. Playing card. After a short flight, Mickey was back in the haunted forest, but this time with a playing card. 
And if you want to, you can go back into the bonus levels if you think you missed something. Okay. I don't think we have 100%, but we'll see. There's our evil witch. Miserable taunted Mickey with oh. her cruel laugh. But perhaps she was secretly worried about how close he was getting. And while we won't see it in this play, the final sections of the game, which are completely original to this version of Castle Illusion, are very challenging. Duck, Mickey, duck. Hey. Want those diamonds. You can't stop me. Now, there are points of no returns in these levels, so you do have to be somewhat aware or you will have to replay the whole level to get like that one or two missing diamonds. As you can see, we have the exit right there. We just need to get over here. And for the sake of keeping this video on the short side, I'll see about trying to rush through the third act just to get to the boss. everything, or at least everything that I've seen. We'll see we got 100% though. And it is a shame that they didn't decide to renew the license for it. Because again, this is a pretty solid remake. Did I get 100? I don't think I did. No. Wow, I missed a lot there. I mean, again, for new players or the younger audience, you're not going to care about that stuff. But if you're like me and a completist, that hurts you. It really does. <laughs> With the frights and sprites of the forest behind him, Mickey faced the next part of his quest. With, ah, the grumpy old oak tree. Yep, like so now it's boss time. Illusions, he was no friend to Mickey. Now the bosses are based on the Sega Genesis game, but they've all had their designs and strategies completely redone for it being in 3D. Oh. Come on, buddy. Again, it's not going to be the most advanced boss fight, but it works. They only hurt when they're basically stunned. Time you take a hit on him, his pattern may slightly change. But again, this is not going to be as complicated as other. Goodbye. And there's our gem. The red rainbow gem was finally his. Now it was time for our hero to move on. Go, Mickey. Exploring the castle halls, Mickey now had one of the rainbow gems that would help him save Minnie. But he knew there were more to find, and the Masters of Illusion would not give them up without a fight. So here's another pedestal which we will unlock so we can get more things. and you just gotta get all the diamonds. So this is the way to the grand finale. Obviously we can't do this in this play. We need all seven the rainbows. Rainbow bridge to Mini would only appear when all seven rainbow gems were collected. There was still work to be done. But again, Castle Illusion definitely shows the developers were going the extra mile with bringing this game back. Ah. 
so you can unlock this stuff. Again, this is a good example of trophy room achievement design, as all your rewards and progress are represented in the game like this. But I'm going to quickly pause out. Yeah, we're at 25 minutes. That should be enough for this. Like I said, if you're interested in seeing like a full-on Let's Break of Castle Illusion, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, that's going to do it for this play. Again, unfortunately, if you're watching this now and you haven't picked the game up, you probably won't be able to do that. But this has been Disney's Castle of Illusion. And again, it's a pretty damn good game. I think it was probably overlooked by a lot of people thinking it was just a cheap cash grab or a just a one-for-one -one imagining rematching of the previous port or previous game. <coughs> But I mean, again, you can see just how, like, imaginative a lot of these backgrounds are, especially when you are when you compare them to the first game. Now, some of these levels are... I remember this part from the first game. I'm pretty sure I've gone too far. And again, you can spend who knows how long trying to do this stuff. Oh, look, yes, it's right here. Oh, no. Up was the only way to go. But the toys were eager to keep playing their games. Mm hmm. All right, but again, we're going to wrap it up here. So, thanks so much for watching this video spotlight of Disney's Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. Again, if you haven't picked it up yet, well, I think you you may have missed out on a pretty good game. It's this was around the time that they were remaking the Ducktales game, where the Ducktales game went for pretty much a one for one. They just decided to go full-on remake with this one. But, I'm hopefully, uh, maybe we'll see this come back at some point, but you never know with licensing and all that. So, thanks again for watching. Be sure to tune into Game Wisdom and get the YouTube channel here for more great content in the future. Anyway, take care. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, of course, share with your friends. It always helps out. Check out game-wisdom.com where I examine the art and science of games. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter under GWBicer for the latest updates of new content. And be sure to check out our Patreon campaign. You can find us on Patreon under Game Wisdom. If you would like to donate and help contribute to keeping Game Wisdom going. Your donations can not only give us the monthly funding we need to keep supporting ourselves, but if we can hit some goals, it will mean more great content for you. And there are some nifty little rewards there as well. Thanks again for watching this video, and be sure to tune into the next one real soon.